My friends, if we want progress, we need less shouters and more thinkers. I am so honored to receive an award from this organization here today. And I come here today with the same exact message I would bring if I were speaking in front of the AJC or the ADL to a group of Jewish Americans. We need to find better ways of having difficult conversations in this country. We can begin by looking to the ever fresh eyes of America's youth. And let me begin by making one thing clear. I am proud of the young people in America today. Today, students, Jews and Arabs, Muslims and Christians, Hindus and non-believers are coming together to insist that America speak up for justice for Palestine and for an end to this brutal war. Our nation must always stand up for free speech, whether that speech is critical of Israel, of Hamas, or America itself. I believe that despite the ugliness of recent times, America is capable of respectful dialogue. Congressman Khan, I tell you, is an individual that understands the perseverance of humanity, integrity, and speaking truth to power. I convened a small group at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, where a Jewish student who lost cousins on October 7th became emotional as she heard a Palestinian student speak about calling her mother every evening to find out how many more relatives she had lost at Gaza. The two emerged shaken, but with a sense of connection, and a number of other Arab and Jewish participants exchanged numbers after the round table and started a group chat. It may seem small, but it is for all of us to lift up that kind of dialogue for this nation to see. Congressman Kahana has a bevy of supporters here in Southwest Michigan. He's a hero to many of us. Um, we follow him. And he, of course, did not disappoint tonight in um, outlining his vision for the future. I believe that if we can summon the discipline to listen and learn from each other, we may make progress. We must agree that there needs to be an end to the occupation of the West Bank and Gaza. We must further agree that the Palestinians need their own state and that the U.S. needs to recognize a Palestinian state that is continuous bilaterally and in the United Nations. Like Mandela, we should agree that the Jewish people have a right to a Jewish democratic state and that the state of Israel has a right to exist and be secure. And most importantly, we need a permanent ceasefire in Gaza today and a release of the hostages with an end to this war.